right, so as we finished uh, the last video, we have now looked at this one up here, the how-to, we were using this text tool here, and then the second thing we looked at was making the, the double Fs with the Swiss Adrian Fruiter. So when we look down the bottom here, I just want to show you these things here, and I've made these little ticks just very quickly. So these are the things we've looked at, text for headings, body, how to use body text boxes, and to create outlines. So remember the create outlines is up here, type create outlines there. It's going through those things quickly, so that's that one. Um, the body text box, remember we're going to hold it down like that and draw it that way. And the other one is where we just, text for headings, where we just click it once and, and, and then start typing. So let's have a look at some of these other things. So we've got text on paths, we've got, we're going to look at filling inside a text and using text with other shapes. And that, that might be the Pathfinder tool and some other these shapes here. So I've got another file ready. I want to show you that over here. Um, now I've just dropped this image of the hamburger in here. First of all, how do we get this picture in here? So you do this in Illustrator. You can just drag the picture and put it straight on the file. You, you have to be careful about how you save the document and where you've saved the picture. Always remember where the pictures come from. We need to do some things with the picture when we finish. But what we do here is we go place. So this is the way to do it. Shift, control, place, and you have to remember where the picture was. For example, here's my folder on the desktop, stuff about China, and there's my hamburger. And I just click on that and press place, and it comes in. Um, but now let's have a look at these things here. So when we click on the type tool, we see these things coming over to the side. As soon as you click on it, Click on the little chevron. See these things that come over here? Now I want you to show show you some of these things because they're pretty cool and kind of fun things we can do. We're not going to use this last one. But first of all, we can just go vertical. I'll sh show you the easiest one, which is type. We've already practiced. But vertical type tool, we just start typing. And it goes down the page. So if I write the word big, it goes like that, straight down. See that there? So very simply, that's how we can do it that way. Um, and zooming out again. The next one we can look at is type on a path. Now this is very useful so we can draw a path and put it around text. So for example over here I have my hamburger so I can draw a path and I'm going to use this tool but I can use any tool and let's say I have this shape here. Now you can make this shape as complicated as you like. I'm going to make it nice and simple and of course that's not quite right. See that there? Switch it around here. Now, if I use, now there's my path. Can you see it? And now I click on this tool, and I just go and click right on top of it. See the icon changing? And I put it on there. And now I can type big. Now you can't see that because it's too small. But as we've done before, we can make it bigger here. Now remember, I wouldn't be changing it to create outlines just yet. Hold it there. See, I've got it there. And now I can make that bold change the color if I want over here I can do anything I want now please remember all these little tricks I'm showing you now and I'm going to show you today we want to also think about general good type rules so I've got a little panel here I want to show you whenever we are using these fancy tools we want to think about these things as well we're going to use are we using uppercase or lowercase so that just means big letters or little letters the contrast. Can we see the text? Is something behind it hiding? Kerning and letting. Remember, that's the space between uh, between word letters this way and between lines that way. Are we going to just make it bold or leave it regular or italics? Are we going to change to outlines? Are we going to use outlines? The space around the text and paragraph alignment, which is over here. So let's go and have a look back at that tool I just that big I just made. Now we had it up here the hamburger you see continually I'm zooming in and out so there it is there's my big can you see it there Oops. when you get it make sure each time you if you want to come back and click on it and work on it again that you've got it highlighted like that so if I put it in the middle I put it to the right side see it moving around so this is how I use the alignment the kerning tool that we talked about before remember those keys so we can have alt and that one alt and arrow to make it bigger often when it's on a line like this we want it it looks better. If you make it very tight, this is tight kerning. On a curve it can look a bit strange. So generally I, I like big kerning like that. Now let's zoom out again. 
So, and, and we'll come back to these T tools. So now we've looked at that one and that one and the vertical type. So we can also use the area. Now, if you have a lot of text, you might want to use, and this is, we're going to use this one. I'll just show you again this key one here, this vertical area type tool and this area type tool here. These two we're going to use for body text. So if we had a paragraph or a lot of text that we wanted to use, um, and we draw a shape and then we just drop the text inside it. So if we see over here, see this here? Now I've got this text box here. You can see the shape, see this shape I've drawn with this tool again. And then I just click on the shape and put it inside here. So I change and I need to change to this one here, area type tool. Now you can have it vertical, but with this, I don't use this one very often. It, Body text doesn't look good when we have a lot of stuff vertical. You have to be very careful when you're writing vertically. I'll show you that again in a second. But this area type tool, we can use it here. See over here as we go in here. Now we can change this. Once we've got it here, we can change it. I'm going to change a few things now. So let's go to this outline view. Remember that? And we see that my text is actually wrong. I want to change and bring it in a wee bit. So what I do is I use a direct selection tool change my shape. Now remember that you must click exactly on the point. Now I have it and I can bring it in. See it changing the text? Now that's what I want, isn't it? And then down here I want the same thing. I'm going to bring that shape that I've already drawn. I drew that shape first. Now we see the text aligning. That looks better. And now I'll come and see it as a preview. We see it now fitting in there much better, isn't it? Now remember as we said before, um, we can with this type tool, we need to think about other things as well. We need to think about um, the kerning. So I think, and the letting. So I think the space between these is too much. So I'm going to go Alt and bring it in that way. See, I'm bringing it in tighter, and I might want to do that. We can use those tools again. Now again, we might have the alignment there. See the paragraph tool. Do I want it there? Do I want it this way? Do I want it aligned left? Maybe that looks better. It's easier to read. But if I have it aligned right, it follows the curve more, more easily. That's justified. So you just play around with these and find that this is aligned right. Maybe that looks better for following the line here. But a line left looks better for reading. So you're trying to balance those things out. Okay, now we have one more tool I want to show you over here. Is the vertical um, on a type. So this is the same thing as we did before. But we're going to use this here. Now remember, so we just draw the shape. And again, if I show the outline, you'll see it. See the shape here? And I've typed it on that line. Let's check this one again now. If we come in here, this is a good one where we're going to look at some of those other points. Now see, see it there? We have this text on here. Now, when we, as I said with vertical, we have to be very careful. It can look very cool. Yes, it can. But we have to be careful about some things. Um, visually, it, it's confusing. So I, I want to make this more simple. So I'm going to move things around. Watch what happens. I put the very here. I'm going to put another. I'm going to move it around here. I want that understanding kind of more like that. I need to split this a wee bit. Now it's easier to see. Another thing I think with vertical text, um, you're trying to simplify things this way. So if I have vertical text, I like to change the case. So go to type and uh, see the here, change case, change it to uppercase. See that? I think it's easier to read. I also think you need to sort of make some things more important. So I'm going to change that to bold. I want some more contrast. And let's now have a look at that. Sorry, we were having a look at it. Let's zoom out and see that now. Now that's much easier to read than it was before. Maybe this space in here is too big. So I could keep going again and, and bring that in. Maybe that space is too big there. I might make, move the very down. So I'll just come here um, and add some more space in there. Again, I can adjust the kerning and everything if I want to. Now, hopefully you've noticed that this shape here is also going to follow the edge of the hamburger. So I could put that over there. Um, but now we have a problem, don't we? So we have another... in. When we're designing, we're always thinking about problems. We've got visual problems happening. And, and your job as a designer is what's the most attractive solution to that visual problem. That's what graphic design is. So now I have a problem because it's, what's the problem here? This is a good example of a problem. We're going to move that one away because I'm now working with this different headline. There's not enough contrast. We cannot read it, can we? Lack of contrast. 
So why is there a lack of contrast? Because everything's dark, isn't it? So I clearly need to change that black to white. And now we'll be able to see it better. Still there's a problem in here, isn't there? This bit's looking fine, this unhealthy. So what, how do we make more contrast? Make it bigger, make it thicker. Um, remember when you're changing this text, you need to select it all. So we come to the Type tool, select everything again. It needs to be bigger. Now it's too big, uh, the kerning. So I'm going to bring the kerning in to make it all fit in. Make it bolder. That's too big. We're just changing things to, to make it fit in. So that looks better there. And alternatively, what we could do is change the shape in the background. And we could make this to, to increase the kerning just very quickly. I could make it even darker in the background, couldn't I? Now you do this much more, um, much slower and much better than I have just now. But if I very quickly put that in there and make that black, go OK. And now I'm going to change the opacity. See this opacity here? I'm going to change that down so I can still see the hamburger. And I'm going to make it darker. See that? Now what's the problem? This is in the front, so I'm going to send it to the back. Object, arrange, send to back. Now the problem is it's behind everything, so I need to move that back as well. Object, arrange, send to back. Now see what's happened? If I had that shape better, now I've got a nice contrast. I can read that writing better. We've still got a problem in here, haven't we? Okay, so that's that tool. What we can do as well with all those things is put our text, as I've done here, so this is a very, very easy thing to do. So we can take that here, and there's another way I can do this. Another cool tool in Illustrator. Now all I do is hold that, and shift click here. Now I need to, this is the tricky bit. Come to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. See what's happened? Let me show you that again. Highlight the text, highlight the picture, go Object, Clipping Mask, and then you have the picture behind it. You see I also have it here. But what, what I found with this one is when I tried to overlap the letters that I had a problem, didn't I? Because I think there's not enough contrast again. So I might use outlines. Now remember we can come in here and do this. See down here there's no outline, but I can make an outline. And I can make it black. And then I can add and make this stroke bigger. See that? That's probably too big. But just to show you there's lots of little things we can do like that. Okay, so that's adding outlines. Practice doing that as well to make some text stronger. Visually, we're looking at things as well. We want to think about contrast um, and making it interesting. So once I'd made that, I also almost noticed that I thought it looked better like that with a little eye. See this here? I think that looked cooler. So that's an example of thinking about once you've designed it, come over and think about some other things as well. Think about the case size. And let's come back into the type tool and think about what else we have. So we've got vertical type. We're not going to use this touch type. We've now touched on and looked at all of those different type things. Go away and have a practice with those things. Remember, when you're finished, you're trying to make things look good. So come in and do this.